Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. I am continuing with my current obsession with using spray paint on fluid acrylics. Um, I've watched, uh, I was initially inspired to try this by watching Amanda Designs channel. She's been doing this for at least a year. Um, and what she does is she lays down uh, some broad swaths of color um, and then uses the spray paint over top of it from a bit of a distance, you know, five, six, eight inches maybe uh, away. Um, and then as she tilts it out, uh, she uh, the, the spray paint kind of breaks up on top and it's, it leaves a, a beautiful effect. But the way I'm doing it creates uh, a bit of a spider web effect and I'm really fascinated by that. And I think there's two reasons why it's happening. The first is when I'm using my spray paint, I'm getting very close to the surface and just short little blasts of it. And when I do that, the force of the paint coming out of the can, the aerosol, um, uh, it churns the paint a little bit and the paint stays in a basic sh circle shape. Um, so I think that's one of the reasons that the, um, uh, the spider web effect is happening. Uh, but also, um, I'm adding some paint directly uh, in the middle of that circle that it creates and it fills up the paint underneath so it spreads out in a different way and then I'm spinning it out. So I think the combination of those two or three things is what's giving me a completely different effect. So I'm gonna continue playing with that. Um, I've had uh, several people uh, comment with uh, other artists who are using uh, the spray paint on fluid acrylics uh, and I've been checking those out for more inspiration and I realize I haven't even tried uh, Amanda Designs version of it yet so I'm going to try that probably in the next video uh, and one person um, I think her name was Raven she gave me a really excellent color suggestion so I'm going to try that. Um, on my next one. But on this one, I'm going to stick with the, the blues and greens like I did in the last one. I still have lots of leftovers. So um, to start off with, my base coat color is going to be these leftover whites. Um, there's, it's kind of a Franken mix of different colors. This is uh, a mix of chroma acrylic, uh, acrylic essentials in white, titanium white. I know there is some. Um, uh, Vallejo pearl medium in this also. I don't know if there's satin enamels or not, so I'm wondering, I might either get some cloudy effects from using this or maybe even some pearls, we will see. And then I have all of these leftover blues and greens. Um, I'll just lay them out here for you. I don't know what is in all of these. Um, this has some metallics in it. So does this. This one does not, and this was uh, Prussian blue that I've added some black to. Um, I have no idea what's in that. Uh, I believe this has some um, Amsterdam greenish yellow in it. Not sure. And I know that this one is uh, mostly um, Amsterdam turquoise green. Um, and instead of layering in puddles this time, I'm going to... Um, put down my base coat and then right in the center I'm just going to kind of drizzle the colors around do a little chaos puddle uh, and then I'm going to spray paint around the outside edges uh, and then once again in the center and then I'll add some of my base coat white into the center also and then when I spin it out I might get an interesting composition from that um, I'm not expecting it to stay in the middle these paints are super fluid um, I wonder if I could show you using this color is probably the best one to show. This uh, paint leaves absolutely no mound when it's drizzled off of the stir stick. In fact, it indents just a little bit. So these are super, super fluid paints and all of my paints have been mixed to the same consistency. Um, I also have in my uh, squeeze bottles, I have some leftover, um, it was a custom blue gray color that I used. And I also have some regular titanium white. So I might actually use this one when I do the, that last final puddle. So we shall see. Um, I'm going to, oh, before I start painting, a lot of people ask me what kind of spray paint I'm using. I'm using this brand that I found locally. Uh, uh, the brand is called Corona and it says color fast dry. And it's a, an acrylic uh, spray paint in aerosol and it says bright gold on it. It also says indoor outdoor use. So it is, um, there's a scent, but it's, it's low fumes. I also have my ceiling fan on 
and the window open so that um, I have really good ventilation in here. And really, I'm not using the spray paint much, um, but I do have a ventilator, a, a ventilator type mask uh, on order. So it'll be, I'll probably be using that in my future videos because I don't want to take any chances on my lungs, but I haven't had any problems on the last couple of ones that I've tried. So um, I'm fairly confident that this is going to uh, be just fine for now. Um, so I'm going to put down my base coat and then we will get started. Good 
have the wet result. I love it. It's so cool. And very green for St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's, happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. <laughs> I love this, this mix of blues and greens and I didn't get any pearls. I'm not surprised, but I did get quite a bit of cloudiness um, in the mix of colors here. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. And look at these delicate little lacy spider webs all over the place. I love it. I love how intentional they are in each of their, their spaces with the white in the center. Look at that, isn't that cool? Um, I managed to um, adjust my canvas because it wasn't quite centered as it was spinning out. I managed to adjust my canvas uh, and put uh, the part that I wanted to come off faster, off the edge of uh, my spinner and that increases the centrifugal force in that direction. So uh, the part that I wanted to stay on the canvas stayed and the part that I wanted to move faster moved. So, and look at the center. Oh, so pretty. This mix of colors is just gorgeous. I love it. I love the chaos of it, but there's structure as well. I think it's really quite pretty. I hope you like it too. Stay tuned for the dry result. And here we have our dry result. I love it. I showed this uh, a picture of this to my Patreon group and several people said that it looked like a bouquet. So I think I finally got something kind of floral here. That's what I was looking for. I love the dark, dark blue and black in that. That's beautiful and it really shows off the, the uh, lighter blues and greens. So let me take you in for some close-ups here. That center is beautiful. I love the way it dried. I love the way that the gold catches the, uh, the light as you move around, but it dried exactly like it was before, but maybe just a little bit darker. Ah, oh, that one right there is beautiful too. I love that. And that one. Yeah, I really love these. Uh, and this technique. I really need to come up with a name for this. What do you guys think of calling it a graffiti pour because I'm using spray paint? <laughs> anyway, I think you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it and uh, I hope you uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more and go mix up some paints and be fearless.